Phosphoglycerate kinase uh, comes after our gap dehydrogenase step, and it is the first time when we're ever going to be able to do a substrate level phosphorylation. That's where we're going to make ATP directly from our substrate. So it, the, one of the phosphates here from 1,3-BPG, this one here, uh, is going to be transferred onto ADP to make ATP directly. So that's substrate level phosphorylation. So we're going to make an ATP straight off a of substrate. Now kind of a key thing about this is that we have a high energy bond here. It's a carbonyl, like an ester here, but it's a more like an anhydride. And remember anhydrides are inherently unstable. And so breaking off this phosphorus is going to be enough to make an ATP and then have an additional 18.5 kilojoules per mole of free energy released as heat. So there's plenty of energy stored up in this kind of strained bond system. So, uh, because this is so favorable in this direction, what we're going to have is a reverse of normal kinase functions. This is named phosphoglycerate kinase because it was first identified going in the other direction. A 3PG plus ATP forms these guys. But in fact, in our bodies, it works the opposite direction. But it's still named phosphoglycerate kinase because AT it was first identified that way on this side of the reaction going backwards. So this reaction is super easy. It's actually just a kinase in reverse. In this case, the... ADP is our nucleophile, and the phosphate here is our electrophile. So we're going to push some arrows from our ADP to make our trigonal bipyramidal intermediate. So here's our trigonal bipyramid. We have the planar center with lots of oxygen with negative charge, and all we need to do is resolve this and kick off our 3PG, which is this half. So the arrow push is really easy, just come down to make the phosphoryl uh, d double bond. And that's going to displace our 3PG pretty simply like that. So to end the reaction we have 3 phosphoglycerate, and we have generated an ATP using that high energy phosphate. And this will go on to uh, 2PG in the next step uh, in the phosphoglycerate mutase step.